chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we are now starting with the concepts of similarity of triangles and our starting point would be the basic proportionality theorem this theorem is very important it forms the foundations of the similarity of two triangles i shall prove this theorem from ground zero basic level starting so that the proof of this theorem is very clearly understood by us the sole point is of course the development of reasoning skills because in your exams a proof of this question is very unlikely to come nobody will ask you a proof of this theorem but by learning the proof of the theorem we also develop good reasoning skills that is one thing in today's lecture we'll also take the converse or the opposite of the basic proportionality theorem and also we shall take up some solved examples on the basic proportionality theorem let us start with this one if a line is drawn parallel to the third side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points the other two sides are divided in the same ratio let me first of all draw a diagram that explains the whole thing supposing this is one triangle that is available to us a b and c are its vertices he says a line is drawn parallel to the third side let us draw a line parallel to bc let us call this line as de we have to prove that the ratio of ad to db is same as the ratio of ae to ec the other two sides are divided in the same ratio so we will will have to prove that to prove that ad by db will be equal to ae by ec this side is divided in the ratio ad by db this side is divided in the ratio ae by ec we have to prove that these ratios will be equal if de line is parallel to bc obviously when you look at this question and from this point it is a big puzzle how will we be able to prove this ratio now don't be perplexed don't go into a sort of depression that i won't be able to solve it these questions have been solved in the 18th century and much much earlier this theorem goes back to thales who lived somewhere in 500 bc much much earlier than our times but this theorem has been in our textbooks because its proof is not known easily to a common man it requires a special construction therefore this theorem has always been in our textbooks and proof is always provided but this proof has always helped us develop our reasoning abilities the proof is done by joining b to e so i would say join b to e so when we join b to e we will have to observe two triangles one is this triangle and the other is this triangle if you observe these two triangles they share a common edge they share a common edge so let me on the side lines explain an interesting property of two triangles when they share a common edge suppose this is the common edge common border to two triangles let this triangle be called t1 
and this triangle be called T2. These two triangles are sharing a common edge and this is the common vertex. If I call it as A, B, C and let me call this as D, then one triangle is ACB, the other triangle is ACD. They share a common edge and this is the common vertex for both the triangles. Now the height of both the triangles will be, let us say it is H. This is the height of both the triangles. This height is common because they have a common vertex and a common edge. So the height of both the triangles will be H as we can see easily from this figure. Now area of triangle ABC by area of triangle ACD the ratio of the areas is equal to what? This ABC is half of BC into H half of base into height area of ACD is also half of CD into height which is equal to this half will get cancelled this H gets cancelled which is equal to BC by CD. So the ratio of the areas of the two triangles is in the same ratio as is the ratio of their bases. The ratio of area of this triangle to this triangle will be the same as the ratio of BC to CD. This is an interesting fact that we will use in our proof right now. So come back to this join B to E that we have already done and this triangle and this triangle they share a common edge. Therefore the area of triangle ADE to the area of triangle BDE will be equal to this AD by DB. This is one thing that we can write here. Next join D to C. Now in this case we will observe this triangle and this triangle. Both these triangles, this tri see we are observing this side. Let me use two different pens to draw what I am saying. We will observe this triangle and this triangle. These two triangles again share a common edge. The common vertex is D. So area of ADE, this ADE to area of DEC will be same as A by EC. This is our equation 2. Now you must have observed that the right hand side of this is AD by DEB which is same as this one. The right side of this is A by EC which is same as this one. Now we just need to prove that this is same as this. Out of this the numerator is already same ADE and this is also ADE. So we have to now simply prove that the area of triangle BDE is same as the area of the triangle DEC. These two areas are in fact equal but let me show you on the sidelines how are they equal. Supposing I have two triangles which share a common base and their tops they lie on a line that is parallel to the base. These two triangles are lying in the same parallels. This diagram might not be a bit clear so let me draw two parallel lines here. Let us say this is one base any triangle that is constrained on this placed on this base and lives in the parallel lines these two triangles or maybe this third triangle 
all these triangles they have the same area because the height of all these is same and they are lying on the same base so base is also same and therefore area of all these triangles will be half bh the base is common to them they are lying in the same parallels therefore height of all of them are same therefore the areas of triangles with between the same parallels is always equal we are worrying about triangle bde and dec this is triangle bde and this is the triangle dec they are placed on the same base and their tips are between the same parallels because bc is parallel to de therefore the area of triangle dec is same as the area of triangle bde we can write bde and dec are in the same parallels so their areas are equal so if this is same as this one and ad is already ade therefore the left side of equation 1 and 2 are equal so 1 and 2 imply imply the proof so these two left sides are equal as we have just now seen the numerator was already equal the denominator was seen to be equal because they are two triangles between the same parallels therefore ad by db is proven equal to a by ec i will erase the board and tell you the practical aspects so that we can be helped in our exams so if a triangle is there and a line is drawn parallel to the base and if this is given as 5 this is given as 6 and this is given as 10 and somebody asks what is this then we can simply say 5 by 6 is equal to 10 by x we can set up an equation which can obviously be solved to obtain the value of x which will be 12 because 5 times 2 10 6 times 2 12 will make the ratio 5 by 6 equal to 10 by 12 this is how we can practically solve our questions in our exams usually these questions are based on a situation like this sometimes the examiner might say this is x this is x this is 10 this is 6 then what is the value of x obviously this is a bit roundabout question x by 6 should be equal to 10 by x we can take x to the other side x into x would be equal to 10 into 6 equal to 60 and x square would be equal to 60 which implies x should be equal to square root of 60 whatever questions you can expect will require us to establish the proportionality of the two sides after that we will simply have to solve them questions are usually not very complicated but off and on some tough questions do reach which we will solve in our coming lectures but right now let us proceed to the next part if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio then the line is parallel to the third side this is the converse or opposite of the basic proportionality theorem let us draw a triangle first of all to let us see what is the situation let abc be a given triangle if a line divides any two sides in the same ratio let us suppose there is a line de it divides these two sides in the same ratio so we have been given 
AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. This is what has been given to us and we have to prove that the line is parallel to the third side. We have to prove that DE is parallel to BC. You can see that it is just the opposite of the basic proportionality theorem where we learnt that if DE is parallel then it divides. Now we have to say that if it divides then it should be parallel. We have to prove this theorem now. The proof of this is rather simple. Let, let us suppose DE is not parallel to BC. Suppose that DE is not parallel to BC. Because if it is parallel then we have nothing to prove it is already proven. We will say that DE is not parallel to BC and if it is so, if DE is not parallel to BC then we will prove that a contradiction will arise and if that contradiction arises we will say that this assumption was wrong and therefore DE must always be parallel to BC. Our proof will be on the basis of contradiction. So if DE is not parallel to BC then let us say that we will draw a line DE dash through D which is parallel to BC. If DE is not parallel then let us draw a parallel DE dash which should be possible because DE, D is any point and BC is any line and through this point we can always draw a line that is parallel to BC. No problem with this. So draw, draw DE dash parallel to BC. Now DE dash is parallel to BC. If this is so, if this is so, then by the basic proportionality theorem, we should have AD by DB equal to AE dash by E dash C. AE dash by E dash C should be equal to AD by DB. Because we know that a line parallel like DE dash, a line parallel to the third side will cut the other two sides in the same ratio. So we should therefore have AD by DB exactly equal to A dash by E dash C. So if we call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2, then comparing 1 and 2, comparing 1 and 2, we get AD by DB, AD by DB is common. So A e by E C should be equal to A E dash by E dash C. The ratio of A E to E C should be same as the ratio of A E dash to E dash C. Next add 1 to both the sides. Add 1 to both sides. You will understand the reason immediately. Let me first add A E by E C plus 1 is equal to A E dash by E dash C plus 1. This plus 1 is to the entire ratio plus 1 and this is plus 1 which implies A E plus E C by EC. Here we have taken LCM as EC should be equal to take E dash C as LCM. A e dash plus E dash C which implies now A e plus EC will be A e plus EC is same as the entire AC by EC should be equal to A e dash plus E dash C. This is A e dash plus E dash C is also equal to AC. 
by e dash c which implies now ac and ac is equal so ec should be equal to ec dash e dash c that is ec should be equal to e dash c this means e and e dash should be one and the same point it is not possible for e dash c to be ec unless e and e dash are same points but they are different so this is contradiction it is not possible because we have already taken e and e dash to be two different points e is lying on a line that is not parallel to the base e dash is lying on a line that is parallel to the base so e and e dash are different points therefore e dash c and ec will be of different lengths but if d is not parallel to bc then they should be of different length same length which is not possible which is a contradiction so we should this is impossible and therefore de has to be parallel to bc is proved let us move to our next part now abcd is a trapezium with ab parallel to dc now what is a trapezium let me first explain that because you might not be knowing this so abcd a trapezium is a four sided figure in which two sides are parallel to each other so this is a trapezium because this side is parallel to this side we can see this is slanting this is slanting these two are not parallel now this is a trapezium because this side is parallel to this side he says abcd is a trapezium with ab parallel to dc let us draw a trapezium abcd sufficiently large so that we can understand the proof as we go this is a this is b this is c and this is d he says uh, i think we have drawn it the wrong way ab is parallel to so let me draw it again erasing the board a b c d a b c d is a trapezium with a b parallel to d c and e f are points on non parallel sides a d and b c here this question should be like this on non parallel sides a d and b c such that a d is parallel to b c a d uh, sorry i'll just put it so that such that ef is parallel to dc so here you have a point e and here you have a point f these e and f are such that line ef is parallel to dc so let me write what is given given ef is parallel to dc and which is already parallel to ab so these are basically three parallel lines this is one thing that is given to us we have to prove that ae by ed is same as bf by fc there are many methods to prove this let us join a to c this is one of the methods i'll take up the other method in a moment this is one method join a to c and let this point be labeled as x now in triangle adc ex is parallel to dc so i'm writing the steps join a to c and in triangle adc ex will be parallel to dc which implies ae by ed should be equal to ax by xc 
that is this by this should be this by this the basic proportionality theorem similarly if you observe this triangle abc in triangle abc xf is parallel to ab this inverted triangle which implies bf by fc this upon this should be this upon this this upon this should be equal to this upon this let us label it as equation 2 from 1 and 2 ax by xc ax by xc ae by ed should be equal to bf by fc is proved this is what we wanted to prove there is another proof to this that is longer but more intuitive let me do that also erasing the board this is the trapezium that has been given to us this trapezium is a b c and d and e and f are parallels so let us join this also this point is e and this is f now let us produce ad to make a triangle this proof is more intuitive but a bit longer let this point be x produce AD and BC to meet in X. In triangle, let us observe this triangle first. In triangle XEF, AX, this AX by A should be equal to xb by bf we can bring xb down and a to the other side ax by xb is equal to a by bf this is one thing that is available to us i brought ax and xb to one side because they are produced ones they are not in the picture so I have kept them together. Similarly, similarly, in triangle XDC, this bigger triangle AX by AD should be equal to XB by bc in this case also bring xb down ax by xb is equal to ad by bc this is equation 2 now left sides are equal so ae by bf should be equal to ad by bc ad by bc and a by bf should be equal which implies bc by bf should be equal to take bc there and bring a down this is what we should have subtract one from both the sides bc by bf minus 1 should be equal to ad by ae minus 1 bc minus bf by bf should be equal to ad minus ae by ae subtracted 1 bf is lcm a is the lcm bc minus bf bc 
minus BF is FC. FC by BF equal to and AD minus AE, AD minus A is ED by A, which is again proved. This ratio is same as this ratio. This method was more intuitive but by a bit longer. That one was just a two-step process. So let us now move to our next part now.